Hello and welcome back. I'm Stream King here and I'm here to talk to you about fellowships and what I think would make them better and what leaders should uh, look into. So let's hop into the game. Alright, so this is the Fellowship Hall. Can I enter that? I don't remember. <laughs> Alright, we can enter it. So, uh, my main thing about fellowships is they're super awesome. Um, right now, most of the competitive uh, fellowships guilds clans, they utilize it via Discord, and I think that would be a good step for a lot of uh, fellowships is to implement Discord. Uh, personally, I don't use Discord because there's a voice chat in-game. There's no point in using it. Um, I would use it for the text channels and stuff like that. So, main, the first thing is what I'm going to say is that if you want to make a fellowship, what you should be trying to do is you should be trying to focus on recruiting players new and old. Uh, poach people. There's people who are in fellowships and clans that complain about being in their fellowship and clan because their fellowship and clan don't do anything. They don't, they absolutely do not do nothing. Uh, they don't help their new players and literally we will be in the middle of a dungeon and all you hear is someone screaming into their fellowship uh, microphone and by doing that. So if you grab your compass, click it, you can talk to your guild when it turns green. And this is for your party chat. It's just that. Okay. I <laughs> figured I'd give that information. Um, what would help a lot is fellowship organizing raids to do events in Lamavore and other areas. The reason this would help is because it would help people finish quests. And a lot of people need to finish their quest to level up. And then that will help you get more level 30s in your fellowship. Another thing would be rewarding your members. How I depicted it was uh, simply your tank should be rewarded. For being your tank. I know, sounds dumb, but look at it this way. Finding a good tank that is willing to help and be in a fellowship is actually pretty hard. Uh, you can teach a tank, but you should still reward someone. And rewarding someone isn't with money, dram, items, or anything like that. By saying, yo, you're doing awesome, man. Really appreciate you. You know, that would make anyone happy. That would make them feel even more welcomed as a tank. It's not something that I've seen people not do. I'm just saying a wise tip, a leadership tip. You want to acknowledge and recognize your members. A lot of the people that are taking leadership of these guilds, they're young. So it's totally understandable that they don't understand this logical step of being a leader is acknowledging your members and appreciating them. Nextly, uh, you want to make sure that you're constantly doing each and every event, like dungeons and stuff like that. You want to queue up your gear to do dungeons. That's where they're going to get that extra tiered gear. If you want to be a top player, you got to start from plus one to get to plus five. You want to become that top player. Like that's how you, that's how you work it up, and you got to teach your gear that that's how you do it. You want to be able to do those uh, public bosses like Treesis. Um, Chaos Giant, Scav Giant, and to be able to do that is you want to organize a guild. I don't have to do that. I don't need to be in a guild. I can pop into the game and I can be like, yo, I know you, I know you. Hey, I know a lot of people. Got a lot of people on my friends list and we all hang out and we all do uh, treasus together. Like, I don't need a guild. Uh, guilds don't really benefit me. I want to join a guild. That would actually benefit me. And what would benefit me is being in a team that actually cares about each other. They're actively playing. Wakanda, amazing. Uh, they're just not super active. So I ended up leaving that guild. There was no point in me being in there when I'm active in the mornings and they're active at night. And the times that they're active is super late at night. So it, it doesn't benefit me at all. Um, and I do want to benefit. I don't need to benefit money anything like that, Dram, or anything like that, I want to be able to have a guild where I can play with them and uh, progress with them. That's like the main um, thing about a guild. Um, meets up, meetups, stuff like that, meetings. Um, you should always bi-weekly have a meeting in-game, not on Discord. Uh, have everybody meet up. Make sure everybody's shutting up. <laughs> People talk when talk to or talk when they can, like wave your hand, raise your hand, stuff like that. Uh, simple. Um, it's it's just being a team. Um, guilds don't need to be 20, 40, 60, 100 players in them. Um, you should have your main unit and then you should have a bunch of recruits. So you can have 100 plus players in your 
uh, gear. That's perfectly fine. But you should have a 10 to 20 squadron of the top players in your guild and those people should be able to help the lower people that's how it should work um if you're wondering why people leave your guild you're wondering well i'm losing a lot of members in my guild the reason why is because you're not doing dungeons they're interested in dungeons um half of your players they're socializing rather than actually playing the game there's literally vr games that are for socializing this game's good for socializing 100 percent but that's not what everyone just wants to do. You may be level 30, but this guy's level 1 and he's trying to progress, he's trying to become better. He's leaving your gear because your gear doesn't do anything to help him. Um, randomly inviting people to your gear, that's like a big no-no. Um, in some ways it's a yes-yes, <laughs> if that makes sense. Uh, like, it, it's cool. Um, the reason why is because a lot of people wouldn't get the, that invite otherwise. They wouldn't go out of their way to get that invite. But you want to make sure that you're recruiting people that want to be in your guild. And when they say they don't want to be in your guild, leave them alone. You know, shouldn't have to bother them so much. Um, keeping voice comms like, uh, you know, voice comm etiquette. Make sure people aren't being rude in the voice comm. Make sure they're not attacking other players. If your guild in any way has a toxic member in it, you should get rid of that toxic member. There's no point in that person being there. There's quite literally no point. Um, that person is only ruining the experience for other players and making your guild hard to be in. Um, other than that, there's not much. You have a little bank here that you can put items in. I don't think you can do it unless you're in a guild. So I'm not in a guild. I'm not in a fellowship, so bang. Won't let me. But um, that's another cool thing. Now, the guilds right now, they need a wa lot of work on um, developer-wise. Uh, there's a lot of work that can make the guild a lot more functional, um, such as being able to, I guess, make people recruit in other people. So giving them a rank or role that uh, gives them the ability to recruit other people. I think there is one, but it's quite buggy. When I ran uh, DPS, which is what my guild was, uh, we had multiple people recruiting people, but... Um, it, it was buggy. Some people couldn't recruit, some people could despite having the same rank or role. Um, but that's not really something that you can do. It's not going to benefit you by me telling you. Uh, but that's something you got to be wary of. You may re be recruiting people and you may be giving them the rank that gives them the ability to recruit, but it may not work. Something like that. I don't know. Uh, like So for the UI of someone who has that rank, it says that they can recruit and when they press it, it doesn't work. Something along those lines. But that's my hot take on fellowships, guilds, uh, clans, or whichever you want to call it. Uh, if you want to keep your members, at the end of the day, just be active, friendly, and appreciative. Because at the end of the day, they're not just your members in your guild. They're your friends and, in some cases, your family. I don't know. Maybe for some people. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, yes, keep it real. Keep it amazing. I hope you enjoyed this hot take. Uh, that's pretty much what it was. Um... I'll see you on the next episode. Uh, the next episode, I'm going to kind of like teach you my way of setting up uh, Treasus boss fights. Uh, and then we'll go from there. So keep it real. Keep it amazing. I hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed, comment, like, subscribe. would really appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right.